Hello everyone and welcome to Flying Hamster, which is another PlayStation Mini, but this one's actually pretty awesome. If you could think uh, Kirby, but a side-scrolling shoot-em-up, then you've pretty much got Flying Hamster. Our regular attack is our spit. We can hold down the circle button to fire it rapidly. It's also possible to charge our spit, but we don't really want to do that right now, maybe later. This bear will try to throw fish out of the water at us, but we can destroy them as soon as he slaps the water like this. In his defense, those fish can be difficult to dodge if they actually come out of the water. And here's where the Kirby part comes in. Whenever we see something in the environment we can suck up, like these seeds, we can use it as a weapon. The seeds fire very rapidly as you saw, but we don't get a lot of them. If we charge it up like this, they fire in a stronger burst, but I prefer just to spam them. And these berries act as our three-way shot, basically. However, if we charge these up and they bounce off an enemy, then they will bounce all over the screen. That's very useful for when there's a centralized group you want to get rid of, but I prefer just to use the normal shot again. Because this game does move rather fast, and charging it up takes longer. We don't have to perform any special action to take items out of the environment, by the way. We just kind of fly over them, and then we automatically collect them. But we can only hold one at a time, of course, because we're holding them in our mouth. I guess you could call this game a spit em up But seriously, it's a pretty cool gimmick. I like it a lot. There's a lot of variety in weapon types, and you have to manage them very effectively. I am currently playing this on the PlayStation 3 as it is a PlayStation Mini, but you could also get it on your phone if you wanted. It's time for a mini boss, and this mushroom looks really tough, but he's really not all that. It helps that we have these bees, which are basically just a homing attack. His only attacks are that he throws his mushroom cap at us, and that he fires a few red shots. Both are very easy to dodge. We have to weave our way in between these bouncing guys, unless we're certain of our ability to defeat them. The root beer is basically the laser. I don't know what else to say about it. It's basically the laser. It's best to move forward past those cats than try to move back, because then they're liable to jump into you. They do jump forward after all, and they don't turn around after you defeat them, so just, you know, scooting forward past them seems to be the best option. This game is very lively and moves very fast. I mean, we started out by the sea, after all, and here we are. If you're wondering what's up with all this root beer, we'll find out very shortly. There's a reason it's lying around like this. And this would be why. The root beer is being served to cats, and let's watch out for this flying dog. He'll explode when he hits the ground, so let's not be near him when he does that. I mean, he probably just wanted to save the drunk cats, and this vomiting cat over here looks like he's in pain. But you can't always save the day, Super Dog. I'm sure you figured that out when you exploded. Now it's time for the first actual boss, and he's pretty sweet. His attack I like the most is this eye laser. The eye laser gives us time to get the root beer, which otherwise we don't have time to get. His main attacks are just that, the spread shot and the eye laser. He also fires a stream of single shots sometimes, like this. But those are rather ordinary. I still like the eye laser the best. Not only because it looks cool and is very surprising the first time you see it, but because the root beer definitely seems to drain the owl's health the most. I don't know if he gets any more aggressive as the fight goes on. I like to think he does, but there's no way for me to be sure. This game really is way too good and way too adorable. The art style is just perfect for what they were going for, and the music is out of this world. I mean, you should probably go play it yourself. It wouldn't take more than an afternoon to complete. It's very short and it's very fun. But I do think that's about it for this video on the Flying Hamster. There are quite a few methods you could use to purchase it, and you can also get the soundtrack for free, I think, so you should probably go do that.